This is the coolest beach town in Mexico. Come Was ready for the Zunde? Yay! Today we are on our way to Mizunde, which is a beautiful beach town about 40 minutes from Puerto Escondido. And I'm joined here with my friend Carl, as well as a couple of my other friends. We've got these scooters. I think we're almost halfway there. We just stopped on the side of the road to fly the drone. And we're gonna be spending like half a day in Mizunde. And there's also another beach pretty close from there called Zipolite. It's actually the only nude beach here in Mexico. We have made it to Mazunte. We're trying to find a place to park these scooters so we can start exploring. There's these narrow streets with a lot of shops around here. Welcome to the beautiful town of Mazunte, guys. We got here about 10 minutes ago. This place actually looks much nicer than I thought it would be. Um, we were driving literally on these dirt roads and there's like these old and like vintage shops on either side of the street, you know, selling like all sorts of stuff. And it's also got a very like hippie vibe. Um, I see a lot of just Americans turned into like Mexican bums just like walking on the streets. And it's overall, it's got a very chilled out vibe. We just parked our scooters near a restaurant and we are just walking over to the Mazunte beach where I think we're just gonna like relax for a bit. made it here to the Mizunte beach although it is like really really hot out here so me and Carl are actually just standing here under this little shelter that we found on the side of the beach just to like cool ourselves down a little bit and then I'm probably gonna go jump in the ocean and I'm also like getting really hungry so I think after we're done with a little swim we're gonna go try find some food around here After getting crushed by the waves for a solid 10 minutes, we found this really cute bar overlooking the beach so we decided to stop there for some cocktails which I think we very well deserved especially because we had been getting absolutely toasted for the last few hours in this intense heat. I tried going in for a swim but the waves were just so strong and I had my drone up there on active track um, but as soon as I got like covered up by a wave the drone stopped tracking me and honestly I wouldn't really recommend that beach for swimming unless if you have really good upper body strength. So I'm out of the water for now and I'm also like really hungry so we're like walking around trying to look for some restaurants. There's a lot of options around here but we haven't really found anything that we're looking for right now because we're really looking for some authentic Mexican food. Um, so we walked into one restaurant but it was just like way too overpriced which is weird for this place. So now we're looking for something a little bit more affordable and I think we might have just found a restaurant that we're in right now. Fruity coffee? Uh, I like to get a glass of water. Oh, does it? They have a pretty good menu. Does the burger come with chips? So our food has finally arrived. Though it looks delicious, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit pissed off because we have been sitting here for like at least 45 minutes just waiting for our food. And it just took so incredibly long, but it looks really, really good. I got myself a lentil burger with some fries. Then I also got myself a green smoothie, which is Delicious. Pascal got a ceviche. ceviche, which is kind of like normally it's made with fish, but this is like a vegetarian version because I think it's a vegetarian restaurant. Papa Just fritas. some papa fritas for Carl. If they were a little bit quicker, I would have given this restaurant a five star rating, but right now I would probably give them a 3.5. It might go up once I try the food. food was actually unbelievable and I probably have to change my rating now I would give them a 4.5 out of 5 also because the staff was very very friendly how was your papa's fritas? papa's fritas? uh muy bien where are we going right now? um we're going up the hill so um why don't I just show it to you guys not the best place to be riding this scooter to be honest sorry man no, you're good you're good let me know if you want me to like get off any, at oh, any, <laughs> any given moment. Should I get off? Yeah, yeah, I'll go by these one. These scooters really can't handle 
too much of an incline so i think we're just gonna park our scooters right over here and then walk the rest of the way so we have a bit of a hike to do now and the shirt just had to come off because it was just soaking wet stupidly enough i didn't even pack any extra clothes with me because i just wasn't thinking dude this is looking <laughs> look at them you've got two grown-ass men taking a piss right by the ocean i didn't feel the need until you two stopped it <laughs> This view is unbelievable. Just check this out. We're walking, I think, all the way down to the very end of that cliff over there. I just can't believe it. This is so stunning. Definitely worth the hike. This place is absolutely unreal. We just hiked down those cliffs and we got down to this beach and it's just so secluded. There's literally nobody out there other than the two people that I see just laying down on the sand and then us right over there. This is just so perfect because every other beach that I've been to here in Mexico, they're always just so packed. I feel like it's just such a hidden little gem. My friends already went in the water while I was up there filming and they're telling me that it's a little too dangerous. Uh, my friend Pascal, when he was swimming, he literally got taken down by the wave all the way up till there. So they're telling me just to like get my feet wet but not really go too far. Let's just play it safe. That's the thing with the beaches out here. Every single beach that I've been to, the waves just have been so strong. They're great for surfing, but just not recommended for swimming. Now we're on our way to Zipolite, which is Mexico's first and only legal public nude beach. Whoa, man. We have finally made it here to Zipolite Beach. I don't think we're gonna be staying here for too long just because we are all like pretty wrecked right now. The mosquitoes here are just so notorious. They've just been, my legs literally, they're just like covered in mosquito bites. Oh, wow. That's the beach. I don't think I can do too much filming out here because there's like people walking around naked and I just don't want to make anyone uncomfortable. But the only thing I want to say is the waves here are massive. I don't see a single person actually in the water right now. So I don't even know if we're going to risk it. Are you guys going to go in the water? Guys, I'm not even kidding. These waves are insane. To be honest, guys, there's not a whole lot to do out here in Zipolete. Uh, Mezunte is definitely a bit more widespread than here. I do see a few like restaurants and shops, but it's nothing compared to the size of Mezunte. Both these beaches are side by side, and the one here is a nude beach, as I mentioned earlier. So if that's something you're looking for, then I would suggest coming to Zipolete. But do keep in mind that the waves here are way more rough than they were at Mezunte, so you won't really be able to swim. Ever since I've been here, I feel like I've just been like completely parched. I've been getting like drinks every like 20 minutes and I just got a Diet Coke. When you're in a hot tropical place like this, you need something fizzy. Are right, you ready to head back home? Yeah, we go back home. Yeah. This day has been very fun, but also very, very rough. Um, we are ready to go home. I'm honestly feeling very gross right now. So I just can't wait to get back and just jump in the pool or just take a shower. So I'm gonna end this video right here. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.